Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. I'm a little distracted here as I start my video. How awesome. It's like freezing out and I have flip flops on as per usual and my feet are freezing so I have to turn the heat on. So um, my name is Caitlin. I'm gonna really try and get through this quickly because I swear it was not this dark like two seconds ago. It just got super dark and y'all know I'm not gonna be able to film a video when I get home and a house full of crazy men. So I gotta film this now. So, um, for those of you who don't know me or newly subscribed, A, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate you. B, my name is Caitlin. Nice to meet you. Um, and I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy on October 12th, 2014, 15. Uh, I had like crazy day at work today and I'm frazzled, so I apologize. Um, October 12th, 2015, I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy in Lowell Mass at Lowell General Hospital with Dr. Rebecca Shore. Um, what else, what else? Oh, um, my starting weight. So I started this process back in July and I weighed in at 335. The weight, my weight on the date of surgery was 300.8. Last week, I think I came to you guys at like 245, 244, something in there. So prepared. Um, and then this week I weighed in at 242.2. So slowly but surely we're getting down there we're get. i'm taking the losses as they come i can't really be upset about it i had uh another bout with shark week like this whole situation y'all i'm gonna be real so i have polycystic ovarian syndrome pcos and it's affected my um my weight loss be first of all first and foremost bitch you affected my weight loss second of all it affects my periods sorry guys if there are men watching this lo siento but uh, it affects my period. So uh, literally, since I was maybe a teenager, I haven't had my period. I'll go through like the motions of being super emotional and craving foods and like crying all the time. So I know like when I'm supposed to or like when I'm ovulating or getting my period, but I just never have my period. And since I had surgery, I've had my period and I'm not thrilled with that. But um, this week, uh, this month I've had it I feel like I just had it like a couple of weeks ago and then I just got it again. So I started crying all over again and wanting crappy foods all over again and feeling bloated and gross. So I think that had, I mean, I still lost weight, right? Like, don't be a bitch, Caitlin. I still lost weight. I just didn't lose as much as I'd like to. And I'm also having issues with poop. I know I talked a lot about this in like the beginning of have, just having had surgery. Um, but yeah, I like can't, I know that I have to poop, but it won't come out. So you're welcome. So, um, that's my struggles for the week, but it's still, again, a loss is a loss. I I'm happy. Okay. Okay. I would like to be like, I'm meeting with my surgeon next week on the 9th, I believe. And I haven't seen her since I've only seen her like physician's assistants or whatever they're called. So I would like to be, what's going on here, girl, your hair is crazy. Um, I would like to be like in the two thirties and I was just waiting for my nutritionist appointment. I don't know if I talk, I don't even know if I mentioned that to you guys, but I had a nutritionist appointment a couple weeks ago and I weighed in. I don't even remember what they weighed me at, but I'd like to be in the two thirties at this point. Um, so I guess I can t kind of touch on that a little bit. Not with my, calm down, calm down. I met with my nutritionist and she just kind of asked me what I've been eating it was pretty easy since I kind of, you know, like to keep it in like a schedule of what I'm going to eat. The rotisserie chicken, protein shake, maybe some eggs here and there, meats and vegetables for dinner. We're done. Um, and then I was asking her like, you know, am I on track? Like, do you feel like I've lost enough? Like, I kind of feel like I'm a slow loser. Like, what are your professional opinion? What's your, what's your professional opinion on my weight loss? Um, and she said, no, she said that I, she felt like I was right on schedule. I feel like people are gonna like come to their car here because I'm in work. Oh, somebody did just get in their car. Oh, um, but she said she felt like I was right on track, which is good, which is you know really reassuring. Um, she asked me what my goals were, and y'all know I, they never set a goal for me. I've never been thin, so I don't know what my goal weight looks like. And I explained that to her, and she said, you know what, don't even worry about the BMI count cal calendar, BMI index, or whatever. Cal I don't know whatever it's called, because based on my height, I feel like I should be at like 120 or something like that. And I'm not about that. Like I have a big head and I feel like I'll look like a bobblehead. Like I have a really big head, abnormally large. 
Uh, it's not just all hair, you guys. It's like a not. It's skull. Um, so I told her I just I don't I don't want to get down super low, but you know, 170, 160, 150. We'll see what it looks like. And she said she felt like that was really reasonable. 170. You know, she felt like that was a good number for me. Um, she did. She was looking at my history of weight loss and everything. She's like, you know, you're probably going to be in one in the 100s by like March or April. And I was like. Oh. Do not jinx me, woman, but man, what I would give to see Wonderland on that freaking scale. Like, I am like, my first big goal is to get down to 100 pounds lost, right? Because I'm at 91 pounds lost. 100 pounds lost, let's get there. Let's focus on that. And then after that, Wonderland, bitch, I'm coming for you. And like, I don't even know how I'll act when I get to, I haven't seen 100s since like middle school. No lie, middle school. So that's going to be kind of like weird, but I'm excited for that. And I'm really hoping, I wanted to get there by like June 1st, so like during the summer I could feel like decent about myself. So if I can get there in like March, I feel like is unrealistic, but April, May maybe? Like, let's do that. Let's make that happen, woman. So nothing really special there that we did with the, the nutritionist. I have to go back to see her in a couple months. And then, like I said, I'm going to see my surgeon this coming week. I had to take, get my blood drawn last night and I'm like... That's what I'm nervous about because they're trying to see like how your vitamin levels are and I've gotten so much better but that's just been in the past two weeks and I told the nutritionist that I was like I'm not I'm not really great at it but I'm really actively working on it now so I don't know I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble I feel like I'm gonna get reprimanded I don't do good with that shit so we'll see so that's happening um I met with the fabulous Lauren losing I th she's hilarious She's even more beautiful in person. I'm so lucky to have her here, like, local, um, because I just absolutely loved hanging out with her. Um, we had a really great time, and it was just really nice to sit with somebody, and, like, we went out to, to eat, and then we did, um, like, a little bit of shopping. Not much, because I'm poor. <laughs> um, but it was just really nice to be sitting with someone that I could, that could kind of, like, obviously relate that could extremely relate to where I'm coming from um and the waitress coming up and me like was everything okay because you know you didn't really eat anything like so it was just really nice and to pick her brain she's obviously like amazing she's like a superstar at this stuff you know what I mean at VSG surgery she's lost so much weight she's kept it off she's doing great she looks amazing going for plastic soon so I really am feeling very lucky to have her so local and to have had the chance to meet her and hopefully stay in touch um and she said that she meets with some groups in the area periodically and that she would let me know when those happen too so I just think it's really I mean obviously I love having you guys I love having the interaction online the friends that I've made here through YouTube and Facebook and things you know they're irreplaceable but being able to sit down and like have a face-to-face -face conversation was just really nice um and hopefully someday I'll meet some of you guys too like some of you guys live in California and I'm down with scheduling a trip to California because I've never been there. I live in Massachusetts. It's rainy. It's probably going to be snowy in the next day or so. I just, you know what I mean? Like, let's make California happen. Who's with me? Or London to see Rachel. You know what I mean? Like, let's do these trips, guys. Yeah, let's make that a thing. Um, so no, um, Lauren, if you're watching, thank you so much. I really and truly appreciate you taking the time out taking a nice long drive, a hike up here to see me. And I appreciate you like so much. I really honestly appreciate you. Um, so that was awesome. That was a blast. And what else happened? Oh, you know, you know what else happened before it gets pitch black out here? Um, I went to the gym. I like challenged myself in my last video. And I think that was Monday or Tuesday of last week. Wednesday I got to work and I was like, girl, just sign up. So I went online and signed up for Planus Fit, a little signed up for planet fitness because they have 24 hours there's a couple locations that are right near me um so i did it i bit the bullet and i i enrolled for the gym and then wednesday night i went to the gym for the first time and i pulled up and the parking spot that i had lucky me was right in front of all the windows of the gym and i could see all of the people on the treadmill i could see all of the beefcakes on the weightlifting area and so i just sat there in fear and started crying <laughs> I literally oh hi bald spot um I literally started crying and you know I'm obviously I mean not obviously to you guys maybe not necessarily but I am a I'm super insecure 
not as insecure as I used to be, but I'm still super insecure. I'm still overweight. I'm still, you know, self-conscious about myself and what my ass looks like in these tight ass workout pants. Do you know what I mean? Like, is <sighs> so I'm still self-conscious. I'm really shy. Um, I'm really a shy person. So like, I don't want to like have to talk to people. I'm an introvert. So I'd rather like work out in a room by myself obviously I feel like a lot of people would but like I prefer to be alone a lot of the times um so walking into this place where I feel like all of these people are in shape and working on their fitness I felt like walking in everybody was just gonna kind of look at me and be like girl you are not fooling any of us look at that gut look at that ass you're not fooling us you don't even work out why are you here what do you want what are you like a new year's resolution kind of person like I just felt really intimidated and and, and very uncomfortable so I literally was crying in my car for like 10 minutes. I had to like muster up the courage. I snapchatted my sister crying. I snapchatted Selena. I was like, I, I can't do it. I don't know. I posted on Facebook. Like I was just really, I, I was having like a mini anxiety attack. Um, I feel like I also kind of suffer from like some form of social anxiety too. So like putting social anxiety out there with like my worst like version of myself is like my fitness and lack thereof and trying to like pretend like I can walk or jog or like am I going to breathe heavy and people are going to look at me am I going to have sweat like flinging on people like <sighs> I'm just crazy I'm a lunatic so finally I was like you know what people were trying to pep talk me up on Facebook Snapchat was getting pep talks I was like get off your ass Caitlin go do it so I literally had to like force myself into the gym but I did it I, I did it I went on the treadmill got that done I only, was only there for like a half an hour and then I went and used the tanning salon and then I used like they have this hydro massager thing that the guy was raving about so I had to try that um and then I went back the next night and the next night I was really proud of myself because I um was only on the treadmill because I still don't know how to use the machines. If you're my friend on Facebook, you saw my post last night from the gym. Because, like, I'm looking over, they have the treadmills, the ellipticals, the bikes. Then they have some, like, racks, some weight rack things. I don't even know what they're called. And then they have, like, weightlifting, a weightlifting section on the other side. It's like an L almost. And all of the dudes are on the weightlifting side, like, trying to beefcake themselves up in front of the mirror. Like, yeah, whew, you know what I mean? And so I'm just, like, on the treadmill, like, psh. A, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to go near those guys because I'd feel mortified. B, I don't. I would probably use like a leg machine as an arm machine and look like a complete idiot because I'm doing it ass backwards. Like, that's just what would happen if. You, that's what I would do because that's that's the shit I do. So um, I've just been on the treadmill. Um, I did try not the elliptical. Like the things don't move, but the the. The arms don't move, but the feet move, similar to an elliptical. I got on that, almost fell on my face because, uh, I don't know, I'm, that's just, again, who I am. So I literally almost fell on my face. I, I was mortified for that. But the next night when I went back, I was on the elliptical for over, I mean, on the treadmill for over an hour. Um, and I did over three miles. Like, I was just really proud of myself. I was walking, but then I was jogging, like, really getting into a groove. And so I've been back a few times. I went last night. Uh, over the weekend so I'm, I'm excited that I'm finding this motivation um, a lot of it too is my boyfriend the next night the second night that I was going he was getting into bed and the boys were sleeping and I was like oh do I want to go to the gym I want to just get in bed so I started like getting undressed to get in my pajamas He's like no you want to go to the gym Caitlin go to the gym you need to go to the gym and I'm like why I just want to snuggle and he's like because you need to motivate yourself and if you're not going to do it then I'm going to do it like you need to go to the gym you want to go there you're just being lazy and I was like oh burn sir but you're right I gotta go so he's been incredible I've been going I'm excited this weekend I think my mom I think my mom's gonna take me to show me how to use the machines at the gym like hello Caitlin but it'll be nice to like work out with her also I went yesterday on my lunch break the past few days have been pretty oh, it's so hot in here oh my gosh um um, so the past few days have been pretty like decent here weather wise like 50 53 degrees and that's pretty good for <laughs> excuse me for um, where I'm at this time of the year so I went walking I tried to film a <laughs> excuse 
excuse me, I tried to film some footage for Sassy um, because I love the other girls that have been doing it. I think it's really cool. I don't know if my phone is working though, so who knows if that actually recorded. But um, so I've been doing that in addition to going to the gym at night, right? Like gold star. Um, but yesterday, a coworker of mine was like, are you going to go for a walk? Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, I want to keep, keep up with it. And so she's like, can I come with you? And I was like, oh, introvert. Like, I don't want to go with anybody. I don't want to hear her. I don't want her to hear me huffing and puffing. Like she's going to want to have a conversation while we're like walking. And I can't, I generally can't do that at the same time because I sound like an idiot. Um, but I was like, yeah, let's let, sure. And literally I was not out of breath once with her. I was totally kept up with her and she's, a, she's thinner, much thinner than I am. Probably like 60 pounds thinner than I am. Um, but I kept up with her. I wasn't huffing and puffing. I was having a conversation. Like, I just really felt like that was a good NSV for me because like I said, normally your girl is a hot mess and I'm like breathing heavy, like breathing out of shape. Obviously I'm out of shape, but heavy breathing within the first like five minutes. But we went out for about 20 minutes. I'm not sure how far it was, but, um, it was really nice. And you know, we had a conversation along the way, so that was nice. And also let's just keep it going um they're doing a weight loss challenge at work i felt like it was kind of unfair for me to join so i didn't but it's just my department and so they had me they elected me to be the weight recorder since i'm like impartial impartial i think that's the word so i was the first weigh they had was on monday and i was writing it down everybody's weight and literally i'm only six pounds heavier than one of the one of my coworkers there and there's somebody who weighs a little bit more than I do. So I am no longer like the fattest person in the room. And that is nuts. That's nuts. I'm always the fat friend. I'm always the fat person in the room. I'm always the fat person in the car. I'm just the fattest person around. And right now I'm like actually literally not. And that's kind of mind boggling. It's kind of mind blowing. I'm, I'm, I enjoy it very much so, but. So that's my week in a nutshell. Did you guys care about all that stuff? I hope so, because I just told you 17 minutes worth of it. Um, we can also talk about my nails this time. Oh, oh, we're not going to focus. My nails. So I went to the nail salon to get a full set, and I had her paint them like this base color. And I had to get a full set. I wasn't about to pay an extra 40 or $50 to get like the gems on. So I had her paint it. I went home, and then, how you doing, guys? Look at my glittery nail. Caitlin. I went home and put on some... Um, loose glitter from lit cosmetics it's something that i use in my eyes and face and stuff but um i just put loose glitter on it put a clear coat loose glitter on top and then clear coat it again and look how pretty it looks right and then literally i just nail glued um some gemstones to my nails and i put a clear top coat over it and it's been five days and it hasn't come off like i'm a nail genius now i can do this like i can be as ghetto as i want to be <laughs> i'm so excited um, that's about it guys thank you so much for watching thanks for hanging in there thanks for sticking in there for all of my videos because I know I talk so much thank you again for subscribing if you're a new subscriber um, if you have a channel and I haven't checked you out let me know down below because I'm so always into watching uh, new channels that I haven't discovered whether it be pre-op, post-op a newbie a long a long term member of the VSG community. I don't know, but I'm always looking for new videos because uh, that's what I do at work all day is I watch videos while I do my work. So um, thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys. Questions, comments, concerns down below. Love ya, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.